Hello, everyone. It is um, Sunday, March 22nd. I hope you're having a nice day. The sun is back out. So I think that's encouraging, um, even though the snow was a beautiful gift um, that I'm sure offered a lot of kids um, some playtime. Um, so today is our Lenten devotional, and we're continuing with a few of the obituaries that Barb Herbal Hendricks has sent us. And today we're going to read um, the obituary of our father. And one of the beautiful things about this devotional series is that it really enriches our understanding and relationship with the um, people who submit the obituary. So I feel like, um, you know, over the next couple of days, we're going to be blessed to know uh, more deeply um, who Barb is and how... Um, how she was raised to be the wonderful, brave, um, risk-taking adventurer that she is. So um, today's obituary is for Arthur F. Warren, 76 of Perry. His services were 10 a.m. Wednesday at the Bem Family Funeral Home in Madison. Mr. Warren died September 7, 2002 at his home in Perry. Born September 28, 1925 in Painesville, he was a lifelong Perry resident. He was a 1943 graduate of Perry High School and attended Oberlin College. He served in the U.S. Navy during World War II. He was a charter member of the Perry American Legion Post number 697, where he was post commander. He was a member of the Perry Volunteer Fire Department for 35 years, serving as a firefighter, captain, and assistant fire chief. He was a member of the Lake County, fire, Lake County Fair Board since 1968, where he served for three years as president. He also served as Perry Township trustee from 1975 to 1985. He was a member of the Independent Order of Odd Fellows Madison Perry since 1947. He was also a member of Perry United Methodist Church and Perry Historical Society. He loved the outdoors and especially enjoyed gardening, fishing, and riding on his old tractor. He loved having good dirt on his hands. Mr. Warren was the owner-operator of the Perry Coal and Feed Company since 1950, retiring in 1990. I'm just pausing the coal and feed company. I mean, I have to ask Barb more about that combination. Survivors are his wife of 53 years, Violet M. Warren, whom he married February 12, 1949 in Madison, daughter Barbara Herbal of Inglewood, Colorado, son Richard Warren of Perry, granddaughters Emily and Katie Herbal and Amy Warren, brother Richard Ida Warren of Circleville, and sister-in-law Mary Warren of Perry. His parents, Emily Dunkel and Spencer Warren, brother Wayland S. Warren, and son-in-law Chuck Herbal are deceased. Friends may call, and they have some hours um, that people were welcome to call um, from at the funeral home to, I'm assuming for a viewing. And the Reverend Joy Blaney of Perry United Methodist Church in Perry officiated the services. The burial was in South Ridge Road Cemetery in Perry. And they asked that in lieu of flowers, a memorial scholarship fund um, was established at the U.S. Bank. And it says contributions can be made to any branch location in Arthur Warren's name. Oh, so what a, um, there's so many things that I can see um, that have been handed down to Barb, um, her love for the outdoors. Um, she has apple trees in, the, in her backyard and um, is always welcoming us when they harvest or come over and get some because she's overwhelmed with them. Um, but um, it's it's just wonderful to meet um, Barb's dad and um, I would just love to meet um, your loved ones as well and to share their stories um, during this time. I think it's um, just important to feel connected um, to people even beyond um, this physical life, but to be reminded that we are um, surrounded by a circle of saints who have been through things um, that maybe we haven't seen, but they have, and they are um, standing alongside of us, guiding us, um, and encouraging us. And so I hope you feel encouraged today um, by the story of Barb's father, by her willingness to share these stories with us. 
Um, and I pray that you will be well. I pray that you have moments of peace today and that you know in all things and through all feelings that you are not alone. I'll see you tomorrow.